Hello there. I'm here to show you a tutorial. <laughs> Hope you some seas. Welcome back to another Walk the Plank. Let's play. Back with some not let's play. It's a tutorial because all you guys can't figure out how to do this properly. I know it though, all right? I know the struggles of modding GTA 5. It's bad. It's really bad. So today I'm going to show you everything you need to do to be able to get GTA 5 mods to work. Uh, I'm going to go through LSPDFR, how to get LSPDFR to work, all the things you need to start up, like the main things you need to get everything else to work. All links for all of these are going to be in the description below as we go through the tutorial, you know, so the first three things that we're going to do are going to be the first three links in the description and we're just going to go down from there. It's pretty simple once if you follow this uh, completely to the book. Uh, you shouldn't have any problems unless, of course, the GTA 5 is on a different updated version than the Rage Hook that you're going to get. But don't worry, don't worry about all these names and everything, all right? I will show you exactly what to do. Daddy's got your back. Remember to like the video if you like tutorials. If you want to see anything else like this uh, and, and how to do some modding, let me know below. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you're into top-notch VR content, head over to my main channel, Walk the Plank. Link in the description and on the end card. And don't forget to ring that bell. If you want to ask me any questions, I'll live stream a Monday to Friday 6 p.m. UK time on Twitch link in the description for that too or just go to twitch.tv forward slash walk the plank t-h-a right. anyway let's get into modding your GTA 5 to get you a realistic cop mod British police packs anything like that we're going to go through modern the game itself modern cars modern characters everything all right so stay tuned <laughs> If you've come over from the GTA 5 LSPDFR series that I do, uh, you're probably going to want to know how to do LSPDFR, how to update the latest version. We're going to show you how to do that today, okay? So what I've got here, I've got main mod. You might want to do this on your desktop too. I've got the main things folder right here, right? So the main things you need are going to be at the top of the, the description, the links. You're going to need the latest LSPDFR, which is LSPDFR 0.4 setup. Uh, if you do the automatic setup, it's a lot easier for you to do. I'll show you how to do the manual one as well, though. Uh, the latest Rage plugin script hook v uh, and script hook v.net plus an ovi setup for what i have here open iv open iv you're going to need this if you want to mod like the decals on cars you've also got a thing on open iv where it's a package installer so if you go an oiv file uh, which a lot of like packages are like the british police pack and stuff like that it's really even more simple to do with open iv okay so what you want to do first you want to get up google and don't look at my history. Uh, <laughs> you want to go for LSPD. Just write in LSPDFR uh, in Google there. There's the home page. Go to the home page. Go to LSPDFR 0.4 here. You may already be on it from the link. Uh, download LSPDFR 0.4.1 build. And then you go down to this. Download this file right here. Uh, yeah, there's the user agreement. Just flick through that. Who gives a sh All right. You just want to be a cop in GTA 5. That's all you need. And then come up with this. Uh, you've got manual install or LSPDFR 0.41 setup EXE. Uh, you can go for the manual or download that as well, but download whichever one you want. The setup is easier, but sometimes the setup doesn't come with a DLL, LSPDFR DLL file. Sometimes the automatic one has issues with files being missing. Uh, do this, which always thinks you're a robot. I can never get these right. Watch this. Yeah, it thinks I'm a robot because I can't understand its lingo. It's the robot, you know? It's the robot, but it thinks I am for some reason. Oh, I got it wrong again. 2,000 years later. There we go, download the manual one there. I'm just gonna put it in that folder so I know what I'm doing. So, you can either use the LSPDFR 0.4 setup, which is the automatic one, like, but like I said, sometimes you miss a DLL file for some weird reason. Uh, all you gotta do is just go into it and then click the setup and it does it for you basically or you can do the manual version what you want to do you want to go to your gta 5 directory which for me is in uh my d drive uh, it's in program files rockstar games gta 5 and there it is uh it probably for you it may be on your local disc program files rockstar games or if you've got a steam version the easiest way to figure out where the steam version is is all you got to do is you got to go to your library and then say uh say that's gta 5 you just want to go to right click on that go to properties go to local files and browse local files and it will come up with uh your location this whenever you see in the mods uh page for installation it always says gta 5 directory that's what they mean they mean that i mean program files 
Rockstar Games GTA 5. That's your directory right here where your Play GTA 5 application is right there. Now, before you do anything else, uh, I want you to go on to Play GTA 5. Just click on it or maybe click on the GTA 5 launcher. Make sure your GTA 5 is up to date before we start installing all this stuff, okay? All right, so automatic version, like I told you, just click on it. It just does a setup for you. The manual install, uh, you click on it and never pay for WinRAR. Uh, what you want to do is just control A, uh, just highlight all of these and you just drag it into your GTA 5 directory. That's all you got to do. All right, just drag all of the contents of the manual install into your directory. So for the automatic install, uh, you just wait for this to come up, install a language, you press OK, you press next, you press I agree, you press next, you press install, unless you want to put it to a different folder, obviously, but I don't think that would work too well if you did that. So you just need to press, you basically press next on all of this. It installs it all oh, for you. You can just sit back and take a little sip on your gin and juice. And then it comes up with launch LSPDFR first response, first time configuration. So you press finish, comes up like this. Now, what you want to do here, you just want to press next. You want to play, uh, click on show license. Wait for the timer to count down. Click accept. And then it comes up with this next option. You just click do it for me because you're lazy, you know. LSPDFR has been installed successfully. Now, like I said, sometimes when you do the automatic install, uh, you load up the game and it says LSPDFR folder is missing a, a DLL file. Now, the file that's normally missing is in your plugins, all right? So you go into plugins. Uh, it's normally that one that's missing. I think they may have fixed it with the uh, 0.4 automatic setup. So if the automatic setup uh, works for you and the DLL file's there, that's fine, all right? But if the DLL file isn't there, uh, sometimes what I do is I just load up the, I just open the, the folder for the manual install and go to plugins and then just just drag the DLL file uh, across to the where it should be, you know, and do it that way. So you got that done. LSPDFR is now basically installed. What you want to do next, all right, you want to get the latest Rage plugin hook. Uh, easy enough. Just go into Google and put in Rage plugin hook. Don't even have to spell it right because it still comes up. Uh, Rage plugin hook, this one here, ragepluginhook.net. Go to that. Go to downloads. And you see here the latest one. The latest one to this video is 6512371547. So you want to click on that, download that. I don't have to do it because I've already got it. So then you want to click on Rage Plugin Hook. You want to do the same thing. I'll go away. You want to do the same thing as you did with the, if you installed LSPDFR manually. Just highlight all of those, drag them in to your directory, okay, wherever GTA 5 is installed. Also, to make sure things work properly, you want to get scripthookv and scripthookv.net. So all you have to do is go to Google again. Comes up right here. We got script hook V. I, I go with the script hook V plus the native trainer, which uh, basically gives you like the trainer so you can uh, change skins and stuff just on the fly, you know? And you can fix player, uh, unlimited ability, noiseless, invincible, stuff like that. That comes with it. So I suggest going to that one, script hook V plus native trainer. You don't have to Google these things because the links are in the description, like I said. But if you want to do it yourself, you know, you want to, oh, no, Ben. I can do it myself, or right? I know how to Google, and you can just do that. So you download that one, uh, and then you also want scripthookv.net right here. You want to download this one too. Download that, and then do the necessary things to, to download the thing. Open up the script hook uh, and native trainer. You want to go into bin, double click on bin, and you want to drag all three of these files into your directory again, into your GTA 5 directory. That's done. You want to close that. ScriptTalkV.net, do the same thing. You don't have to get the README and the license in. You can just get the uh, the top three files here. These three files right here, drag them in also. Now, that's most of that installed. Before you start up, this is where you go to start up GTA 5 mods LSPDFR. You don't go to the Play GTA 5 application anymore, right? So you want to load up the game through Rage Plugin Hook. Now, the first time you load up Rage Plugin Hook, it's, it may come up with this because my, my PC is like Fort Knox right now. Uh, you want to click that, click run anyway. It comes up with this. Uh, these might be blocked. That's okay. That's just that's the bunch of files. They're making sure that you're the one that installed those. We installed all of those, so yes. You want to click yes. And then it'll come up with this, a little disclaimer. I'll wait for that countdown to go down. Click accept on that. And it comes up with the first time installation. Installization. Installization. So the first time you load this up, it's going to come up with the first time installization. <laughs> Here it comes. You don't want to change. You don't have to change any of that. All right. You just want to save and launch. 
this settings dialog can be shown again starting the rage plug it immediately yeah all right just click ok on that yeah, it's checking everything if you've got a slow pc this may take a while <laughs> so remember if you want to play gta 5 lspdfr or any other kind of mod i suggest don't don't just play through where you normally play through right go to the directory like i told you and uh play just double click on rage plugin hook to load the game up if you want to do lspdfr and stuff it, it won't work if you just load up the game normally it won't work all right gotta be through rage remember that kids comes up with this initializing game support this is always this is a good thing all right if you see this screen you know that you've done something right now when you first load up this obviously i've already got a character installed when you first load up this new lspdfr 0.4 you'll probably load up as franklin or the other characters you know but this is this is normally what happens all right this ain't gonna happen to you on your first first start up all right we want to go through here you want wherever you are you want to uh go outside you want to look on the map and you want to uh farm one of these one of these things here there's one there basically police stations right there's one there one there always go to this one in this part of the map here good thing to do here as well now that you've got the native trainer installed you might as well test it out you know so you've got a little marker on the police station you want to press f4 console comes up the raid console is beautiful i use it quite a bit in my lspdfr to get around the map quick so i've got more time to record more videos you know so what you want to do is you want to just press f4 get that up and you want to put in teleport to w and then i just press tab to get the whole thing up you can can't write it out but we're busy people you know there we go then you want to press f4 and you've landed the eagle has landed now so now that you're at the cop station you want, you want to come to here you want to press e to enter the police station <laughs> what's this here what, what's this up here man that don't look cool turn bar there we go uh look a bit more bright now but what are you going to do? So the first time you come into here uh, and you click go on duty, you're going to be able to create your own police character, all right? But like I said, I've already done mine, so it won't let me do it again. So after you've completed your character, you'll come onto this screen. You've got the police locker and it comes up with the agency. You can change the agency of, of your character, you know? Uh, outfit, you can go plain clothes or you can, you can go the cop route, you know? You can change the variations uh, of the outfit itself. You can change the inventory. Uh, also go into advanced customization and you can change the components you can put yourself with some glasses or masks if you want to do that and then you want to go confirm when you're done with that and then you want to go to the police garage go to the police garage and then you can see your little cup cars you can choose what cup car you want to go in uh so you've got different agencies for uh for the cup cars i normally just stick with lspd uh because i just love the cars so i'm gonna go with the police interceptor you can change the libraries. I'm not sure if that does anything. I don't think it does. The components. Uh, you can turn on extras if it's got it. I'm going to show you how to do the cop cars and stuff like that in a minute. We just want to make sure LSPDFR works. That's another tip. Uh, every time you install a mod, install one at a time. Load up the game. Make sure it works. You don't want to do what I do. I install sometimes four mods uh, all at once and then load it up. Something doesn't work. And then I have to figure out which mod it is. You know. So if you install a mod and then load it up after each mod install... Uh, you can see which one's not working because there is some mods that just completely screw your game up. Uh, you can go to modifications as well if you want to. And uh, this is new, all right, for the LSPDFR 0.4. You can upgrade your, your armor and your engine and stuff like that. Select and continue. And now you're on the beat. Uh, if you've got this far, well done. You've followed my instructions correctly. Comes up at the bottom left. You are now on duty. Look at that. Press E to get your sirens working. E to turn them off. You want to pull over to the side of the road, press Q to get up the police computer. Now I'll show you some of the, before we start getting into the other stuff, you can skip ahead if you want, but I'll just show you a couple of things that you probably need to know, like controls and stuff. It'll always, whenever you install anything, there's always a readme normally. Uh, for LSPDFR, you've got these configuration files and you've also got the default controls. So you can always go back into the default controls and look at it. But the, the main ones that I use are obviously the, the pull over a person, which you do just, you just go up behind someone, uh, you put on your sirens with E and then you press shift if you're on keyboard and mouse. If you're not, uh, just look in the default controls, like I said. If you, you're playing with a controller, you know, it'll show you in there. Uh, you press F to get out the car, obviously. It's, it comes up at the top left with most of the controls anyway. You go up, you press E to begin speaking. Uh, use the arrow keys and enter. Hi. You can do different things like that. You can you can ask for ID, ask to leave vehicle, uh, current suspect. You can ask everyone to leave now. You can ask for ID from like the passenger and stuff like that. Issue citations, uh, dismiss. 
Off you go, lad. Off you go. Uh, another thing you probably want to know is how to pull over a ped like in the streets. You can either go up close to the people and you hold E and you can stop them and then you can go up to them, interact with a suspect, you can detain and now you can also perform a frisk and frisk these geezers, you know, give them a little touch up if you want to. Give them a little frisk just in case they don't want to give up their ID, you know. Nothing on you, bruv. All right. All right, that's cool. Uh, you can also, if you don't want to stop them uh, code two, you can stop them code three with your gun out. You know, just put your gun, hold D. And it, you can get a takedown where they actually get on the ground as well, you know. You get them on the ground that way if they're maybe, maybe getting a bit too leery, you know. And then you can go up behind them and hold D to, uh, to arrest them. And now you've got that new thing as well, which I absolutely love in LSPDFR. Uh, you can ask for a, a transport, someone else to pick them up just by tapping 8 on the keyboard or you can actually take hold of the suspect now and you can walk them, which I absolutely love. <laughs> I love that. Right, so, we got that. That works, alright? LSPDFR uh, works. If, if something's not working, let me know in the comments. I'll try and help you guys out. So, every time you want to install another mod, obviously you have to quit the game first. There's been a couple of times where it hasn't gone through and I'm like, why? Why can't I transfer it? And I realise that GTA 5 is still running. You're up to this point, you should have LSPDFR installed, Rage Plugin, and Scripthook V and Scripthook V.net. Right, so we now have LSPDFR installed successfully, hopefully, Rage Plugin installed, uh, and Scripthook V and Scripthook V.net. That's the main things you need, all right, for the for the LSPDFR mod to work. You may just want to do it like this, you know? I mean, when I first started off, I was just like, yeah, LSPDFR. I mean, it comes with quite a few call outs anyway. But if you do want, to add more, I suggest before before doing anything else, all right, you want to go to Google uh, or the link in the description and put in Open IV. Open IV, the ultimate modding tool. That's the one right there. You want to go to that uh, and click download now. Open IV 3.1. Best to do the latest one, all right, latest update on all of these things, and you'll get an OVI setup just like that. Now you just want to install that. Click on that. Follow the instructions. Install that, and then you'll have this little thing on the dashboard uh, desktop right here. Open IV. Right, before you go into Open IV though, uh, sometimes you haven't got a mods folder in your GTA 5 directory. Sometimes it's not there. If it's not there, all you gotta do is just click, uh, right click, uh, new folder, and then just name it mods. Just all lowercase letters mods, just like that. Just in case it doesn't, it's sometimes not there in the directory. Just make it yourself. It's cool. We're hackers, all right? Open up Open IV. Uh, the mods folder will be like that. It'll be there now, all right? This basically, Open IV lets you get into folders and other stuff that you can't normally get into on your normal PC, you know, like RPF files, you know, if we go into mods folder on the actual directory and try and get into an RPF file, it'd just be like, yeah, what do you want? How do you want to get into this? <laughs> it's a hard file. OpenIV allows you to do all of that. So GTA 5 directory, looking at GTA 5 directory, on open iv so good it's so much easier with open iv now first thing you want to do first time you open open iv uh it'll probably come up if i load it up it'll come up with this uh you want to click on windows gta 5 starts up nice nice open iv 3.1 get the latest version you know you know how i do you want to go to tools you want to go to arsi manager now we come up with these things here these three things just install all of them just click install look how quick that was now you're able to to mod you're able to mod the game properly. Next thing on the list is say you want to get a British police pack to get British cars and British uniforms for the police, okay? Because I know you guys like the British Patrol series on my channel. Link in the description for that. <laughs> uh, this will be in the link in the description as well, or you can just do it normally. British police pack. Put in that or follow the link. Ultimate British Police Pack right here. This is the this is going to be your main hub, all right, for all your mods, GTA 5 mods <sighs> on point. Right, so Ultimate British Police Pack. This is for the cars. This is for a complete overhaul on British cars. Uh, we've also got the British ambulances and stuff like that. You want to click on download. Comes up with this. Oh, it's on a media file. All right, download. Get this puppy downloaded with my crap internet. So you download that. Uh, it comes in a little WinRAR package, uh, open it up, and what you have here at the top, you don't need to worry about all of that. Always, like I said, read the README if you're stuck. Installation guide right there. Uh, you just want to drag this, the OIV file at the top, drag it onto your desktop, drag it there, just like that. Uh, open, open IV. 
Uh, you want to go to tools. Now, for, for OIV files, you always want to do this, all right? Uh, the Ultimate British Police Pack and the PED Pack that we're about to install. Same way, and it's so simple to do. All you do is you click on Tools, Package Installer. You want to go right here to Ultimate Police Pack. Uh, you want to click Open. You want to click Install. It'll come up. Do you want to do it through the Mods folder? Always do it through the Mods folder, goddammit. Because if anything goes wrong, you can just delete your Mods folder, create a new Mods folder in your directory, and start again. You know, it's the easiest way to do things. So you click on Mods folder, and then you click on Install, and, uh, and then it'll come up Installed. Just like that. Now, if you want British police people as well, you just click in, click in the link in the description or just put uh, LSPDFR British police peds. Comes up with the top one, British emergency pack, uh, where you've got all the, the British police outfits and stuff. You want to download that, do exactly the same thing. It will come in a WinRAR folder, put it on your desktop like that, open it. Uh, it will be an OIV file at the top. Again, you want to click, you want to drag that to your desktop. You want to go to OpenIV, click Tools, Package Installer, Find it on your desktop and uh, and install that too. Follow the same instructions. And now you should have British police cars and uh, British people. Now, what you want to do, all right, what you want to do at this point that I'm not going to do, pause the video. Uh, I want you to go to Rage Plugin Hook, load it up, make sure the Brit uh, British police cars and the British police peds work, okay? Do that first. Pause the video, go try that, load up through Rage Plugin Hook, see if that works, and then come back. <laughs> Hello there to you who have just done that and hopefully it works. <laughs> what I'm going to show you now is a few realistic mods that I've got installed that you probably will go in the comments. Hey, i how did you do that realistic one though that you've got here? Uh, realistic ones, links in the description for these two. This is my GTA 5 downloads folders right here. Uh, the realism mods that I've got is uh, Forced Aim First Person, uh, Gunshot Wound 2, which you probably want to know how to install properly, uh, the Ragdoll Physics, and realistic blood decals, all right? So those are the ones we're gonna do uh, to finish off the video, to make sure that you know how to download those. You wanna go to Google or the link in the description for forced first person aim for GTA 5. Forced first person aim GTA 5. There it is, right at the tap. I download that. Now I suggest keeping these in the same sort of place like I have, like I've got the GTA 5 cop mod, uh, folders with a realism installed in it. And I've got the gang one separate just to keep things So you know what's going on, you know, and I'm gonna paste that into my realism one first forced person aim now first f forced first person aim <laughs> now with I mean some of these are gonna be different some of the mods you up you open up the thing and it may be a different one but these ones are really easy to do the DOL ones there's always a readme normally it shows you how to install it create a folder called scripts if you haven't got one so if you haven't got a folder in your uh, GTA 5 directory called scripts all you want to do is right click uh, click new folder scripts in lowercase all right just just do that if you haven't got it and then place force file DOL in in the folder so you just go into scripts like this and you just drag the DOL across into it simple as that that's that's that done now load it up make sure it works all right you should just be able to as soon as you aim you should go straight into first person now gunshot wound 2 one of my personal favorites this is what makes it really realistic you may have seen in my gang mod video i did recently the bloods and crips one uh you see on the the bottom left it's very realistic damage you get shot uh if it hits an organ uh, or your spine uh, you probably die, you could bleed out, you could pass out from the pain if the pain's too bad, you can break ankles and stuff like that. So go to the link or uh, just put into Google GSW2 and it should come up, Gunshot Wound 2, Realistic Damage System. You want to download that, download that right now, put it in your realism folder right now. Now all you want to do with this, uh, you get a folder and you've got some stuff in it, all you want to do is you want to drag the folder across into your scripts folder again just drag it across into your scripts folder in your gta 5 directory right there and that's done that's all installed for you just like that <laughs> i know it's easy it's easy once you know how you know uh next one we want to do the rage uh euphoria uh, this is what makes them uh the ragdoll better basically so they they fall more realistic they stumble they are uh, so i think so maybe in this one where the police sort of drag each other if the, the, another policeman's injured they drag them rage euphoria you want to go into it right here there's a read me all right link in the description or just google it all right i'm not going to show you how to google each one 
uh, just download this one. It's called Rage Euphoria, link in the description. Click on the README. Well, what we got to do here, use pass package installer and open IV to install the mod and the required weapons physics. Oh my God, that's dead easy. It's dead easy, look at that. Two OIV files right there. You just want to take both OIV files onto your desktop. You want to open open IV. Go to tools, package installer. You want to click on Rage Euphoria OIV. Uh, you want to open it. It'll come up. You want to click install, mods folder always, and install. And then when that one's done, you just do the same thing. Tools, package installer. You want to go to the weapons physics uh, OIV required. You want to do the same with that one. And then that's that done too. That's that done too. You've just done that. Just done that. Remember though, don't do what I'm doing right now, all right? Every time you install one, like you just install Gunshot Wounds 2, load up the game through Rage plugin, make sure it works, click out the game, then install Rage Euphoria, all right? Once that's installed, click on Rage plugin hook, load up the game, make sure that works and it doesn't crash. Click out of the game and then go to the next one. Next one we're going to do is going to be the blood decals. Link in the description or down or Google it yourself, depending. OIV, uh, you got the manual install. If you want to do it manually, don't know why you would. If you're watching this video, you want to do it as easy as possible. Important, uh, you got uninstall. You got the uninstall if you want it. OIV right here, install version. Uh, you just want to drag this realistic blood decals OIV file. Just drag it to your desktop. Open IV tools you know that you know the deal now package installer find it where is it realistic blood decals remastered open install that to the mods folder that's done too now you should have lspdfr british police if you want it uh some realism mods like gunshot wound 2 the forced first person aim you should have the rag dolls and you should have the blood decals which makes blood look so much more realistic that's basically the basics of how to install things like you it's mainly open iv all right it's either open iv or if it's a script or a call out that we're about to do it's even in folders anyway so you just direct, if you don't know the the proper directory if it's got plugins folder in one of these uh, you just drag it into your directory and it just goes into the plugins folder for you. I'll show you a couple of call outs, all right? A couple of call outs, how to do the call outs, like the ones I've got. Link in the description for this, or you can just go to LSPDFR. Assorted call outs is one of the ones I do. Assorted call outs, for people that don't know, call outs in LSPDFR, it's like different calls you can get, you know? There's quite a few. There's, well, there's ton of them uh, assorted call outs is one of the ones i use it's got bank heist store robberies and more uh, now you've got different ones here uh these are basically updated versions always go for the the updated the most updated version which is normally at the bottom i think uh rph 0.51 or higher just go with go with the latest updated one all right it accuses you of being a robot again uh just just tell it straight oh come on geezer i hate these things put your uh your download in a folder uh, call outs is it's lsbdfr so i put in the cop mods new folder right there assorted call outs open it up these are call outs are so easy to do they're easy to do too you just all you got to do make sure you've got your directory open here click on assorted call outs uh click on grand theft auto or documentation which uh shows the readme if you get confused uh click on grand theft auto and all you got to do is drag all of the contents into your GTA 5 directory. That's call outs. That's, that's all you gotta do with call outs, all right? All you gotta do. Hey Ben, how do we download different skins like the, the tattoos on the face of Franklin in your Bloods and Crips video? Well, thanks for watching the Bloods and Crips video, by the way. Uh, I'll show you how to do that right now. So first of all, the Bloods and Crips uh, gang mod is it's pretty easy to install. It's got readme here, just in case. Uh, you need open IV to install this mod, which we do have we we got that we got that now, if it doesn't show you the uh, Install path for open IV because we're getting we're getting more into it now All right, we're getting open. This is the more advanced uh, Open IV if you want to install different skins like different characters uh, or different cars You know if you want to change some of the cars over stuff like that This is where it gets a little bit more advanced on open IV if it doesn't show you in the readme Because sometimes it don't how to install these like the gang mods bloods and crips uh, Sometimes it'll be on the where you actually downloaded it from the actual page Sometimes they say the destination in the description if they don't then sometimes they've been really smart and if you click on installs, uh, this basically, this is the mod, if you haven't seen the video, it, it changes the family clothing to Crips and it changes the baller clothing uh, for the Peds into Blurs. So if you go into here, 
and then you click on each one it's got a readme for each one to show where to install it so i know it's a bit of a pain uh but it's got to be done because there's different uh locations for some of the family members and some of the baller members so you go into families go into the first one just just start at the top and work your way down go into readme uh it tells you here update this is where you have to uh you have to go to in open iv all right so we'll click can we put that on the side you want to go to open iv and it says to go to update uh when it says to go to update uh it's in the mods folder now if you haven't got if you go into your mods folder on open iv you haven't got update you haven't got that right there because this is one of the things that confused the hell out of me uh you want to go into your main directory you want to choose update right there yeah the folder update you want to control and copy that you want to go into your mods folder and just paste it in uh, same for anything else if it says go to mods uh x64v or mods x64 or, and you haven't got it in your mods folder just go to your main directory uh it's x64 uh and update i'll do them all at once so it just saves it you know takes a while to do but just go to gta5 directory click on x64 uh and update right there and just control copy go to the mods folder and paste them into the mods folder so they're there as well uh, x64v and x64e that sometimes you need they're down the bottom of the directory so just copy that go into the mods folder and place it in there so it's just so you've got all of the things necessary you may need you know in the future you go into mods uh go into update uh, x64 dlc packs x64 dlc packs uh patch day 3ng actually 3ng dlc rpf x64 model cd images x64 models cd images Patch day 3 ng rpf which is at the top so you go to here this is where it says to go to all right so we've gone to that location that it says to go uh so now we get this this is a backup they always get the backups as well just in case uh i always did i actually did that for this one so there's the whitey d file it's, it's normally white all right it's normally got a little white thing here what you want to do is you want to go to open iv click edit mode at the top it will give you a warning saying, yeah, this is permanent, all right? So as soon as you drag it in, it's going to be saved automatically. Just click yes, and you want to drag that into there, and it will overwrite the character's clothing already in the game to the new one from the mod. Now click off at edit mode, uh, and then you want to go back. You want to do the same for that. Uh, make sure you click on the readme on each one, though, because each one, uh, it may have a different location. It used to be like that one's the same, but I'm pretty sure... The last one in the families is a different one. Yeah, it is. Different location. Update X64 DLC packs, patch, patches NG, uh, patches NG RPF. So make sure you to, to, to look at the readme in each one if you're going to install this mod uh, because there is some different locations and they're not all the same. And then go to ballers, do exactly the same with ballers. Readme is in each one. And then you should have the Bloods and Crips installed too. Last but not least, uh, let's mod some cars into the game because why not? Everyone likes vehicles, right? So you want to go to GTA 5 mods right here. Uh, you want to go to vehicles. Scripts. Scripts also are very good. Scripts lets you do different things that aren't normally in the game like a gang turf mod which uh, basically makes the characters act different in the game than they would normally you know you start up like proper gang turf wars stuff like that uh gunshot wound 2 is a script it changes the workings of the game to let you allow you to do different things like that but all we're gonna do go to vehicles right here choose the vehicle that you want uh bugatti veyron that seems pretty cool as an add-on and automatic manual spoiler. Ooh. Always look at the description before you download it. Instructions are in archive. Download that. Don't ask me if I'm a robot. Oh, it didn't. Thank God thank you for that. Well, grab that. Put it in a folder of your choice, like me. GTA 5. GTA 5 downloads. I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a cars folder, all right, just to keep everything in check, so you know where where everything is. You know. Let's have a look at this. Now I haven't installed this one, so this is this is me actually figuring out how this thing works live installation text let's have a look see so installation instructions copy mods folder to gta 5 update update rpf common data dlc list use notepad to add this new line oh all right this is getting more in depth sang noir limited edition right so let's do what they said let's go to open iv uh gta 5 directory go into mods always go into mods all right i can't stress enough go into mods um <laughs> update update rpf right here uh common data common data dlc list xml 
Where's the DLC list XML? It's around here somewhere. DLC list XML, there it is. So what we want to do is we want to get the DLC list uh, and we want to basically extract it. We want to extract it to the desktop right here. That's what it says, right? Open IV and extract the DLC list. So there's the DLC list right there. I want to drag it right here to your desktop and that way you're able to open it with notepad and change a couple of things around. I want to use notepad and add this new line. So copy that i'm guessing they mean put this here so we're going to paste this just just before paths and then press enter now i'm, I'm just going to line that up just in case because <laughs> you never know like that make sure that's lined up how it was there we go and then we close save yep save changes uh save it and replace the original dlc list now i want to go on to edit mode uh click yes uh, i want to get the dlc list that we just edited and we want to drag it back in just like that, it comes up compressed, so you know that you've actually put it back in, you know? And then also, we we're supposed to do this first, right? But we can do it second. Copy the mods folder to Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, so that's right there. The dir main directory, GTA 5 main directory. Uh, go into the Bugatti Veyron. I've gone into the V1 manual animated spoiler. Uh, and then click the mods folder, drag it across to the directory. It will install everything you need onto the mods. And there we go. That's, that's basically it. If you want anything, uh, you want me to explain anything more, you want me to go in-depth on a certain mod, uh, if it's more confusing than what this is, let me know below. If you're having any problems, I'll try and answer as many comments as I can. But you know, you, I'm a busy bee. Remember, if you like this video and it helped you, like the video. If you're into, um, if you want to see some of my, my GTA 5 mod videos, subscribe if you haven't yet. Check that bell to turn my post notifications on. And if you're into VR content, head over to my Walk the Plank channel. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.